Before we start the video today, um, an apology. The first half of this video might not have the best sound, because even though I've bought a new microphone, if we follow the cable round, I forgot to plug the darn thing in. I'm sorry. It gets better halfway through. I rescue, repair these poor pieces of wood and get them working again. To them, I'm the resurrectionist. Ahoy hi. Welcome back. On my tour of Scotland, I visited many, many fine, fine guitar shops. In fact, I didn't. I went to lots of guitar shops, but overall they were thoroughly dull. They were all selling the same things, um, all at the same prices, and not a lot of second-hand gear, and nothing very interesting to me. Luckily there's the one shop in Stirling, Jonas, which I recommend you visit if you're in the area, because it had a large selection of second-hand guitars, and I bought the cheapest which is this. So for the Resurrectionist this week, we're going to resurrect this. They've gone most of the way. Let's start at one end and work our way down. The history of it, I'm told, is that it's uh, an old school guitar. So it got thrown around by the kids and they put most of it right. Epiphone Les Paul Special, Model 1, not Model 2. Tuners all seem to match and work. The headstock's got quite a bit of a bump on it. And our first problem is here. The nut is damaged. Oh dear. Uh, there's an old sticker on the back that he's dealing with. It's a bolt-on neck, you'll notice. It's also absolutely flat. There's no uh, body carving on this one. Um, doesn't want it, doesn't need it. It does look quite similar to our chap back there, which is a 50s tribute. But that's, of course, the real deal. This is as cheap as they can make. Pickups are humbuckers instead of P90s. Um, the knobs are clearly wrong. That's the bit that offends me the most. It's just chosen black knobs to fit on. Um, it's They're the wrong knobs. We will replace them. We will replace the nut. We will give it a good clean. It's got a lot of bangs and knocks on it. Um, oh. And we'll replace the output jack as well because that's all knackered. What a shame. Anyway, off to the workshop. Here we are on the messy bench, and first things first, the Epiphone Studio Special Model Number One, whatever it is, um, needs a bit of a clean up. It needs a new nut, and it needs to get rid of those knobs. Also needs a new output jack. So first things first with all of these, let's de-string it. <laughs>
when I say I dislike making these videos, it's not that I dislike making the videos. It's that I dislike getting things wrong and having to do them again and again and again. So, first things first, my apologies for not plugging the microphone in on the previous part. My second set of apologies, because I've sat here like a Muppet speaking for the last 20 minutes, forgetting to press the record button. Anyway, more importantly, we're back in the room with this. The Epiphone Special. What's special? Well, very little is special about this. It's a very ordinary guitar. And what I mean by that is that we've got no body carving on it. It's a flat surface and it's a bolt-on neck. It's, it's vaguely a Les Paul. Um, there are various versions of this but this one is mine. What you saw in the video previously was de-stringing, cleaning, feeding the fretboard. Um, I think we put the neck a little bit flatter, cleaned up the bridge, um, looked at the pickups, found out that the body of this guitar is made out of plywood. So my first ever plywood guitar. Uh, does it make a difference? Oh yes, it's terribly different. No, not really. It's, um, good quality plywood. I would say it's better than some solid woods. I won't say which solid woods. Polonia. What else have we done? We've replaced the nut. I replaced this one's nut with a titanium one. Is that because it cuts sharper than any other? It's because I've never used a titanium nut before and I thought it'd be fun to try it out. What did I find out about titanium nuts? They're really hard material. Very difficult to actually sand down to the right shape carefully. Um, I did though, by taking a lot of time. Changed the knobs and changed the output plate here. We have found, or rather I have found, that there may be some other issues with the output socket, which I didn't check. But that doesn't really matter. Because we've got a fully working, rather nice guitar. So here's the bridge. getting the pickup heights right um, but the Epiphone based Epiphone named and branded pickups are okay aren't they there's nothing wrong with them um, it's a lot nice to look down there and see those amber knobs I don't think they're correct for this guitar and I'm sure somebody downstairs will tell me what the correct ones are um, I haven't done the filing on the nut yet. Why is that? I want to get, let the strings bed in and play with it a bit before I work out how much they really should go down. Oh, but there's a way of doing it. Yes, there is a correct way where you hold on the third fret and then it's got to be a, a slither of paper underneath the first is the correct distance. I know all that. But um, I'm also bit anxious. Will I ruin my fret files on a titanium nut? They're quite pricey. Anyway, what does it sound like with a bit of dirt? Marshall Governor 2 here. 
Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? probably paid a bit too much for it, the state it's in, um, considering it's a bolt-on, ex-student, bashed-up, knackered guitar, but it's a good one. In fact, I'm going to say we should use this going forward as a test bed for, for all sorts of updates. Um, wiring the different potentiometers to make a difference change the tuners on this change the pickups maybe change the wiring system what does reverse wiring mean you know let's try all those things out and use this as the test bed monster for it um it's paid its dues in this world um it's got a few more to pay i reckon and we should do it for our entertainment anyway put your ideas below for what we should do with this next um, an absolutely excellent find. Um, if you see one, get one to play with it. It's just great fun. Until next time, subscribe. More videos. Here come cats. Toodly bip.